Greetings to everyone this is Joyson here welcome back to my channel I am so glad to introduce you one of the best online spoken english course this course is organized by skill india beneficial courses series and brought to you by british council and krish rikant who is a former captain of indian cricket team english strokes is designed to let you have lots of fun and learn along the way you can find a variety of listening activities video content games conversations cricketing facts and language exercises let us visit englishstrokes.com website let me take you to the courses tab now this course is divided into four levels basic beginner intermediate and advanced which is offered in four languages like english hindi tamil and telugu Once you complete the course successfully you will receive certificates from British Council for all four levels If you click on buy option you can find the cost of individual levels Basic learning practice is for rupees 275 level 1 level 2 and level 3 are for rupees 1000 each all for 3 months duration Even if you buy a premium pack which is for rupees 2400 you will only get level 1 level 2 and level 3 for 6 months duration which means you must buy basic learning practice separately making the total sum of rupees 2675 for all four levels But my beloved friends here is the good news The Skill India program offers this all four level course at just rupees 500 only To buy this spoken English course Please check more details in description. Now let me share few more details about the course. There are two methods to access this course. First method is using web browser on computer or laptop and the second method is using android application. To access this course on web browser, visit English Strokes website and log in using username and passcode which is provided by Skill India Center. On top right side click on profile and select my courses Here you can find all four levels with subscribe button Let me show you the content of each level On left side you can find all the units Each unit contains videos and activities Let me play level 1 introduction Hello and welcome to basic learning practice in this level there are five units in each unit you can learn and practice different phrases listen to conversations and test your learning you can change the language from this drop down list now you can listen in various language namaskar बेसिक लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस लेवल एक में आपका स्वागत है इस स्तर में आप पांच श्रेणी हैं। हर एक श्रेणी में आप अलग अलग व्याख्यांश के अभ्यास कर सकते हैं अथवा बातचीत को सुन के अपने पाठ की परीक्षण भी ले सकते हैं देर आर प्रीवियस एंड नेक्स्ट बटन टू गो बैकवर्ड एंड फॉरवर्ड रिस्पेक्टिवली इन द मिडल बैक टू कोर्स बटन विल टेक यू टू द कोर्स पेज Let me show you the content of this course. Hi Sampath, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me interview you for our magazine. No problem. It's a real pleasure. How old are you Sampath? I'm 19. And where are you from? I'm from Kandy in Sri Lanka. Wow, Kandy is really beautiful. Where do you live? Well, I live in Colombo now. But I still spend a lot of time in Kandy because most of my family lives there. Great. What do you do when you aren't playing cricket? I'm studying to be an engineer in Colombo. So that takes up a lot of time. Apart from that, I just spend time with my friends and family. An engineer. That must be hard work. Why do you like cricket? I think it's a great game to play and to watch, especially at a stadium. The whole family can go together. and have a great day out playing it keeps me fit too and it's great when you see the ball heading for the boundary that's a great feeling 
Cricket just makes me happy. Yeah, that certainly is a great feeling. What other sports do you like? I love watching winter sports like skating and skiing, but I don't do those sports. I play football sometimes, but mostly I just play cricket. And how often do you train? Well, I train every day, but I don't always do the same thing. Sometimes I go jogging, and sometimes I go swimming, or do circuit training. I always try to practice my bowling in the nets. So you're a bowler. Who are your favorite cricketers? Well, I really like Mahela Jayawardene, and of course, Lasit Malinga. He has such a great bowling style. But I also like to watch and learn from the greats like Brian Lara and Viv Richards. There's still so much young cricketers can learn from watching these legends. Wow. Yes, Brian Lara is so cool. After every session, there is an activity to solve. Hi Sampath, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me interview you for our magazine. No problem. It's a real pleasure. How old are you, Sampat? I'm 19. And where are you from? I'm from Kandy in Sri Lanka. Wow, Kandy is really beautiful. Where do you live? Well, I live in Colombo now, but I still spend a lot of time in Kandy because most of my family lives there. Great. What do you do when you aren't playing cricket? I'm studying to be an engineer in Colombo. So that takes up a lot of time. Apart from that, I just spend time with my friends and family. An engineer, that must be hard work. Why do you like cricket? I think it's a great game to play and to watch, especially at a stadium. The whole family can go together and have a great day out. Playing it keeps me fit too, and it's great when you see the ball heading for the boundary. That's a great feeling. Cricket just makes me happy. Yeah, that certainly is a great feeling. What other sports do you like? I love watching winter sports like skating and skiing. Even though you give wrong answers, you can repeat activity until you answer every question correct. many people are coming to the party I've invited 8 people and then there's the two of us so 10 people hmm you're making pizza so how much flour do you need oh about a kilo what about dessert oh let's get some bananas for banana splits how many bananas let's get 10 We can have one for each person. Ah, oh, banana splits. How much ice cream do we need? Oh, a lot. And at least 3 different flavors. We use how much and how many to ask about the number or amount of things. We use how many when we ask about things that are countable for example how many bananas 10 how many people are coming to the party 10 we use how much to ask about things that are uncountable for example how much flour oh about a kilo how much ice cream oh a lot Here are some more examples of countable nouns. 5 apples, 3 eggs, 1 cat, 3 bottles of water, 2 cups of tea, 10 rupees. Here are some examples of uncountable nouns. Rice, water, tea, bread, money. Notice that bottles, cups and rupees are countable but water, tea and money are not.
This is how we make questions to ask about quantity. We start with how much or how many, then we add the object we're asking about, then we can add do and the subject followed by the verb. For example, how many bananas do we need? How many people are coming to the party? How much flour do we need? How much ice cream do we need? When we make a simple positive statement, we start with the subject, then the verb, and then the number. With uncountable nouns, we say some, or a lot of, or we can use a measurement like kilo or cup to make these nouns countable. For example, I need 10 bananas. I invited 10 people to the party. We need some flour. We need a lot of ice cream. When we make a negative statement, we start with the subject and then the verb do and the negative not, then the verb followed by any and the object. For example, I don't need any bananas. I didn't invite any people to the party. We don't need any flour. We don't need any ice cream. Let us visit profile at the top right side to explore more options. Here most important thing you will find is your course overall details like subscription, start and end dates and course completed. Next about course details like lesson completed, chapter completed and activities completed which will give you overall idea about remaining course to be completed. Then left side here you can click personal info to change your account info. At the bottom you can upload your profile picture and at last you can change your password. Next in my certificate option you can download certificate if you have completed any course successfully. Then comes course history which will show you about your course progress data wise. And the last option is notes which shows all the notes you have saved during course. So these are the basic details you can find using web browser method. Now let me show you android app. Please note that android app is not available on play store. Whenever you register for this course, the skill india center will provide you with app link, username and passcode. Once installation of android app is done, open app. On startup it will ask you to log in using username and passcode. Only at the first time you must log in. After login you can see all four levels. Now this application is designed user friendly. Even children can operate easily. You can select course, select unit you want to learn and begin learning. In case you want to go back. Click on right arrow at top left corner. To go to course main page, click on book icon at middle bottom screen. On course page, you can find your progress of each course. From basic to advanced, each and everything is covered in this course in a very systematic way. The cost of this course is only Rs 500 per account. We also have a very interesting offer for schools colleges and institutes, so do check it out. If you are interested in this course, check the contact details in description below. You can call or whatsapp us. We will be very happy to help you. I hope you enjoyed the video, like, share and comment. Also feel free to subscribe my channel, so you my friend will never miss such interesting videos. Thank you so much for watching the video. God bless you. God bless India. Are you liking